I've always thought you have one of the coolest names of any leading man, Harrison yeah. Ford. You cannot beat that name. Yet, you were asked, or it was suggested early in your career that you change your name. Who the true. Who the fuck wanted you to change from Harrison Ford? Jerry Dukovsky. Oh, well, physician, yeah, heal thyself. <laughs> 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 he just had a hey, hatred for his own name. Yeah, yeah. Is that true? So he wanted you to change your name. Yeah. He, you said Harrison Ford, and he went, no, we can do better. <laughs> yeah, he said that's a too pretentious a name for a young man. He was about four years older than me. Uh, <laughs> he always called me boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Uh huh. So, what did you did you come up with uh, an alternate name? Yeah, Jerry Tukovsky. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. I don't think it was very original. You no, could have I thought. Of... I I did I did come back the next day. I was not only supposed to come back with a name, uh, uh, but I was supposed to be there uh, earlier than my naming uh, conference mm -hmm. uh, to get a haircut and I'd been given a picture of Elvis Presley to take with me to the studio barber. They told you, get this haircut? Get this haircut yeah. and come back with a name. I said, okay. Uh, I didn't get the haircut. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I said, my new name is Kurt Affair. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. Yeah. That's a great name. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. Kurt Affair. Yeah. It's an it's Irish German name. <laughs> oh, my God. So, uh, obviously, that didn't, that didn't stick. Um, no. You didn't, nothing did. Nothing did for a while. No, they threw me. Uh, they, they, they let me go after a year and a half of a seven-year contract. Wow. After I, which I would be making $1,200 a week. Really? After seven years. So this is a different time in show business that kind of fascinates this is me. This indentured servitude. It really was. But you look at, I'm thinking now about the television. You come to Hollywood in 1964, and the big way to get a job, if you're lucky, is every show on television is a Western, a TV Western, pretty much. And you Love were- Love American style. <laughs> you did Love American style? Oh, yeah, man. I played a hippie. Oh, yeah? On a real stretch. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny because I, I have a brother, Neil, who's obsessed with TV uh, of the 60s and early 70s. And so I told him today when I'm on the, uh, I told him when I was on. That's my watch. Is it your watch? <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, that's very rude. It's time for you to go. Yeah. <laughs> But you just pushed the alarm on your watch so you could leave this interview now <laughs> and not look rude. That's what happened. I don't mind looking rude. Well, that's true. That's true. You're, you're right. I, I just did misread the situation terribly. Yeah. But so I'm driving into work today and uh, I'm talking to my brother and I said, yeah, I'm going in and I talked to Harrison Ford. He said, that's so cool. Ask him about that gun smoke. Yeah. And uh, I said, what? No one asks Harrison Ford about his episode of Gunsmoke. He's like, oh yeah, I know him and this, these other guys take over the town and you kill a guy in a bar and uh, in a poker game and he knew it. And then of course I looked it up online and there's a picture of you looking real nasty on Gunsmoke. Uh, yeah, I, I, I did Gunsmoke in the Virginian, but I don't remember uh, that. Yeah. I did. I played the same part twice on FBI in one season, and they didn't even realize I was the same guy. <laughs> <laughs> so I, you just came back, and they were like, anyway, we had a great time with Kurt Affair. What's your name? <laughs> uh, yeah. No, they. I, I, I always played, uh, I seemed to get these, if, if there were two criminal brothers, yeah. I was the one that was uh, a, a sort of duped by my smarter, <laughs> older brother. <laughs> right, right. How old is your brother? Um, he's three years older than me, or two and a half years. Yeah. See? Yeah, exactly. He tricked me into talking to you, and he'll be delighted because he'll listen to this and he'll say, you got Harrison Ford to talk about gun smoke. <laughs> um, but it is interesting to me, like at that whole period, because Clint Eastwood gets started in television westerns, Burt Reynolds, yeah. 
um, uh, you know, all these sort of iconic acts, Steve McQueen, all these guys had to do their, it's like you had to do your time on a television Western before you could move on to other things. Is that a fair assessment of that period? Well, no, uh, not really. Um, <laughs> oh, for Christ's sake, you're wrong. Why can't no, you I mean, give me that? Really, Why can't I have that? <laughs> you're Why wrong. can't you just say, sure, sure, yeah, fine, Conan, let's move on. Instead, it's no, you're wrong. <laughs> you're, you're wrong, your brother's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, I'm okay with him. Your being name's wrong. wrong. Okay, Everything. everything's wrong. My name's wrong? No, I played the same kind of character yeah. over and over right, right. again and uh, nobody noticed so i i don't think it i was not on the i was not on the clint eastwood uh track right in, right in right. television i was on the here today and gone tomorrow right uh, track right yeah. right and this is that's why you're you're making your living primarily as a carpenter while you're doing these other parts i'll get a part and i'm lucky to get this sort of quasi background role yeah. in these little parts. And right. I think still the case. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. 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 You're hurting. It hasn't gone well for you. I think we can agree on that. Uh, look, show business has been very, very good to me. Mm -hmm. Yes, it has. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think you've been good to show and, business. Well, I do. <laughs> I mean, you're very, uh, no, I was very lucky. Uh, I mean, for, for years, I, uh, you know, I did the same old thing. I went from uh, Columbia Pictures uh, to a contract at Universal yep. for $250 a week. Um, that lasted a year and a half. I always could get out of these things just by being a dick. <laughs> <laughs> really? Is yeah. that how you would get out of it, was just being kind of unpleasant? Well, the, I, in Columbia's case, uh, uh, Jerry Tarkovsky... Mm -hmm. Write it down, folks. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Called me into his office and told me that uh, Mike Frankovich, who was the head of the studio, was in Europe and he'd forgotten to sign my contract uh, when he left. But he was going to suggest to Mike Frankovich, he, Jerry Tukowski, was going to suggest <laughs> that they drop me anyway because I had no future in oh. the business. I appreciate and notice that you know their names cold. You have already forgotten mine. Uh, but no, no, I haven't. And what is it, please? Um, <laughs> Conan uh -huh. O'Brien. Oh, my God. I want that on my... That's my outgoing message for the rest of time. Um, I'll get a lot of hang-ups. But uh, I love that when you're in that early part of your career, and this is true of all of us, and someone doesn't see it or someone wrongs you in some way or disrespects you, you never forget that name. But I you're don't. not letting me finish any story. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. No, fucking interrupt me. Every time I get to the punchline, okay. you're there to wander it. <laughs> Jerry Tukovsky <laughs> said to me that Mike Frankovich uh, hadn't signed my contract, so uh, and he was going to... Um, Perhaps I you, I got this far before. He was going to suggest that I that I get that they drop me. Mm -hmm. He said that he would give me two uh, weeks pay till uh, Mike Frankovich came back, um, because he knew that my wife was pregnant. My wife at the time was pregnant, and uh, I needed the money. I said no. That's fine. Goodbye. And I was out. That was why, it. Why not just take the two hundred and fifty dollars? It was a hundred and fifty dollars. Two weeks would have been three hundred dollars. <throat> and um, that was stupid, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your wife's expecting a child. Yeah. That money went a long way back then. Shit. Fuck. What were you doing? Think about how much I, money you know. have now if you kept that. Exactly. That money invested wisely then I would could be, be worth... making $1,200 a week. <laughs> yeah. It says here in my research that that's yeah. what you're getting for the yeah. latest uh, Indiana Jones film. Uh, I have a very clear memory of the first time I encountered you, which is you had not been on the show yet, and you're easily one of... Uh, my favorite Hollywood stars, and I'm gonna say of all time, and my show is struggling along for a couple of years, and we're getting 
was just sort of starting to catch. And uh, I could never get a, a, a star of Harrison Ford's uh, caliber on the program. That would be unimaginable. I'm almost done. <laughs> and <laughs> that exhale was like the last breath of a thousand year old man. No, I'm just remembering that you never fucking asked me. We to did ask you. Until you did not. <laughs> Don't shout at me on my podcast. It's rude. I'm not shouting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in Was I'm in I'm in Washington D.C. for the White House Correspondents' Dinner, and I'm going to be up there on the <laughs> dais with Clinton. I've never met Harrison Ford, and I'm on an elevator door that's closing. And all I'm, I'm nervous about, how's my set going to go on this thing? Elevator doors are closing. And I've talked about this on the, on the show years ago. Elevator doors closing when I hear a voice say, hold the elevator. And I'm thinking, I really got to get upstairs. <sighs> the door is two thirds closed. <laughs> so I don't really try to hit the button oh. when the face the iconic face of Harrison Ford appears in between the two closing doors and looks right at me and the doors <laughs> shut. And I, um, all the way up to my room, which is on the eighth floor, shit myself the whole way up. <laughs> That's what propelled the elevator. Pro yeah, yeah, the elevator was not functioning, <laughs> but it, it was propelled purely by my, uh, it was a horrifying, horrifying moment for me. And, um, <laughs> I apologize again. We recreated the moment on the air. You can see it online where I asked you to let's recreate the moment and you gave this amazing death stare into the camera and we had two <laughs> elevator doors close on it and I, re I felt the same trauma all over again. That's how he remembers your name like Jerry Tukoski. <laughs> <I know. laughs> I'm sorry, Harrison. I could have probably, it was a horrible moment for me and I'm glad that we've, you've come here I I come here as a friend. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So it's all past. You're not gonna. No. You, you no, hold. No. You bear no ill will. No. No. You're no Jerry Tukovsky. <laughs> <laughs> That's the nicest thing anybody's ever said to so me. So here's the deal. The last time I saw Jerry Tukovsky was I was. <laughs> Jesus, you are obsessed. Second, listen. In that office on Gower. On Gower. <laughs> Business 15 settle. years later, uh -huh. I'm sitting in, a, in the executive dining room at the executive dining room mm -hmm. at Warner Brothers. And a waiter came over to me in the middle of my meal and had, on a little tray and there was a little white card on it. I'd never seen that before. And he proffered the tray. Mm -hmm. I picked up the card. It said, Jerry Tukovsky, vice president, blah, 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 whatever. I looked at it and I looked around the room and everybody looked like Jerry Tukovsky. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. And I turned it over and on the back, handwritten, was a little note that said, uh, I missed my guess. Wow. Uh, he was I, guessing. Yeah. <laughs> I but I give people credit for, right? Yeah. For acknowledging he acknowledged that I he, thought so too. Yeah. I give people a lot of credit when someone comes up and says, I'm sorry. Yeah. Like you coming here today to apologize for well, Jerry Tukovsky uh, oh. didn't quite say he was sorry. Oh. He just said that he made a bad bet. Which isn't that's not good enough. By the time I leave here, mm -hmm. you will be sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry now. <laughs> do do these people get to talk at all? They, I try to discourage it. I see. It's uh, working. The best I can. Yeah. So I, now, you I, weigh in because you're having the time of your life. I, I am really in, into this Jerry Tukovsky character arc because mm -hmm. I, I do think that there's a nice over. end to it. It yeah, is. It's Where over. is he now? Is exactly. He... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's bring him in. Yeah, well, we have a surprise for you. Do you have a phone in number yeah. that we could? No, he is here in person. We, we arranged all of this. He now yeah. cleans pools in Redondo. <laughs> And uh, he's here to say again that he missed his bet. Yeah. Oh, so there man. you go.